breaking new details about the victims and gunmen in a deadly shooting spree in California. A shooter going on the rampage, killing at least four people, opening fire at seven different locations, including an elementary school, where police are praising the quick thinking staff there for preventing a tragedy, Our, uh, a tragedy there. Our senior national correspondent, Matt Gutman, is in Red Bluff, California, with the latest. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Robin. That quick thinking principal knew that what they were hearing in the distance was not firecrackers, but gunfire and immediately put that school on lockdown even before getting notice from law enforcement. And this morning, the sheriff is learning more about that suspect and the 14 people he shot. Authorities believe Kevin Neal is the man responsible for terrorizing a Northern California community in a shooting rampage that lasted 45 minutes. The killing spree began at 7.52 a.m. when a 911 call came in that a person was down at a local home. Police say Neal then drove shooting as he went to the Tehama Elementary School where he fired at least 30 rounds. And a gunman arrived here literally driving his truck into that school and that's when he tried to take aim at the students inside. Coy Ferreira was dropping his daughter off at kindergarten. This is a five-year-old who was just so shooken up that she heard the words shoot on campus and run to the executive classroom. She didn't know where to go. She was just frozen in time. Moments later, the gunman opened fire. So you were standing by the door as the bullets were coming in the windows. That's correct. When I turned my back, our window was being blasted through. One five-year-old was shot right in front of Ferreira but is expected to be okay. The school principal is being hailed as a hero this morning. Authorities believe Neil had tried to kill as many students as possible in that tiny school, but was thwarted when the school immediately went on lockdown. According to authorities, the frustrated gunman got back into his truck, shooting at bystanders on the street and into residents' homes, even at other motorists. He encountered some other people on the road. He then took that citizen's vehicle and went back on his rampage. That citizen was a mother driving her son to school. The boy is expected to be okay, but his mother is in critical condition. Jonah Buncayo passed the shooter in his vehicle. He drove into a ditch, and I, I didn't know it was a shooter at first, and I, I asked him if he was okay. He said, yeah, I'm okay, how about you? And then he pulled out his gun, and then I started running. The entire community was on lockdown for nearly 45 minutes when officers finally caught up to him. Police officer rammed the vehicle, forced it off the road, exchange of gunfire, which resulted in the shooter's death. FBI forensics teams on multiple scenes overnight, picking through the evidence, including dozens of bullet casings. Neil's mother telling the Associated Press that her son called her a few days before the killing and said, it's all over now. I'm on a cliff and there's nowhere to go. Now, his mother paints a portrait of a psychologically disturbed man who she says was reaching out for help. We know that Neil had been feuding with his neighbors, actually stabbing one of them back in January. He was charged with assault with a deadly weapon for that facing prosecution. Now, the sheriff's office this morning is trying to determine whether or not the guns he had were legal and if not, how he got hold of them. Robin. So many questions, Matt. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.